A new wave of coronavirus vaccinations is in the making as the CDC has cleared the way for kids 12 and up to get vaccinated. Welcome news for so many parents. Starting this morning, children ages 12 to 15 years of age can now get vaccinated. Nick Monticelli joins us now live. And Nick, local leaders are urging parents, talk to your doctors, make sure you're comfortable and sign your kids up. And that's exactly the point here. Make sure you're comfortable. There's a lot of parents, as you mentioned, that are really anxious and really want their children to get this shot. There are some that aren't ready to do it or just don't want to do it. That's a choice that they're going to have to make. But the bottom line is if you want to get your kids the shot, you've got plenty of options. With the FDA and CDC now allowing emergency use of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine for children 12 and up, Many are wondering how kids might react to it. It turns out just like adults, the most common side effects usually come after the second shot. Arm pain where that shot was given, fatigue, headache, chills, muscle pain, as well as fever and joint pain. Whether or not parents will get their kids that vaccination is another question. Some already have, some are skeptical, some are a flat out no. That's why the governor and Dr. Khaldun are enlisting primary care doctors to keep stocks of the vaccine. I encourage you to talk to your family doctor and learn more about how the safe, effective vaccines can save your life and the lives of those you love. This will mean less missed school because of quarantine, fewer missed sports practices and games. And in Detroit starting today, the vaccine will be available at all drive up and walk up locations for kids 12 and up. Parents or guardians, though, must accompany the child. With the city's vaccination rate near 33 percent, Mayor Duggan says the goal is to get more shots into arms. Uh, I haven't met a single person who's gotten the vaccine who didn't a week or two later say, I'm so glad I got it. I don't believe how much better I feel now. I don't have to worry about passing it uh, to my family. Now, one of the conversations that we've heard people having are concerns about underlying or pre-existing conditions with their children. The best advice we can pass along is talk to your primary care doctors, talk to their pediatricians, find out the best thing for them and make an informed decision. We're live this morning. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today.